Don't try to be original. Try to be great. This is a quote by Paul Rand. Paul Rand is a 20th century American graphic designer, most famous for his logos as well as advertising. This presentation will go through his life and express all the great things that Paul Rand has done. Peretz Rosenbrum was born in Brooklyn, New York into a Jewish Orthodox home. He studied as a student at Pratt University as well as New School for Design. His father didn't think that he was going to be able to make a living off of design, so his father made sure that he went to a more credited school. Brand's talent was noticed immediately. He began as an illustrator for Metro Associated Services and quickly grew up in the ladder. While he was there, he decided to change his name from his Jewish name to a more brand-specific name, Paul Rand. As Rand's work became more popular and further noticed, he became the art director at Apparel Arts and Esquire magazine. From there, he designed Esquire magazine's trademark. And while he was doing that, he started designing cover designs for Direction magazine. This is one of his most popular pieces that he's done over his years. While well, admits many of his design projects, he became an instructor at New York Laboratory School teaching what he loved to do, design, and he was good at it. He became so good at it, he became an instructor slash professor at many universities around the nation, which we will discuss later on in this presentation. Brand's popularity continued to grow further and further as the years went on. He then became an art director at William H. Weinturm. His clients include Brandy, Cigar Company, Disney Hats, Stanford Fabrics, and many others. In 1941, Paul had his first exhibit featured at Catherine Ka Gallery in Chicago. This was one of the first opportunities to display his magazine and advertising work. From there, he was able to spread his word not only to the design community, but also to the public. As I mentioned before, Brand had the opportunity to be an instructor as well as a professor at many colleges around the nation. In 1942, Brand became an instructor at the Cooper Union in New York. He grew many friendships and relationships with fellow designers. From the Cooper Union School, he was encouraged to design his first book, which became The Tables of the Law by Thomas Mann. He then designed covers and interiors for Stork Club Bark Book, and then moved to become an instructor at Pratt Institution in New York. In 1947, Rand authored his first book titled Thoughts on Design. This grew in much popularity, and because of his book, he created his first solo exhibition in 1947 in Philadelphia at the Museum of Art. In 1949, Rand designed cover for Modern Art in Your Life. His name grew so popular that he was a household figure. He then designed posters for movies, most famously, No Way Out. In 1951, Rand designed Weston C.T. House in New York. In 1952, he designed for El Pacto GHP Cigar Company. In 53, he designed for Perspectives cover and won the House Award for being one of the top 10 houses in America. In 1954, ran one of the awards for being one of the top 10 art directors by the New York Art Directors Club. Ran has had a lot of things in his plate over the last 20 years and he was well deserved of this award. In 1956, Paul Rand starts embarking on one of his biggest projects. He begins consulting for International Business Machine Corporation, IBM. At this point in Rand's career, he was at his top. He eventually designs the logo for IBM as we know it today. Rand's love life was exponentially more complicating than much of his work. Rand met his third wife, Marion pictured here when she, he worked at IBM 
She too was a designer for IBM and they worked on this the same team. Before Ren had a relationship with his third wife, him and his second wife, Anne, began writing small children's books, one including Sparkle and Spin. His wife was a writer and he was a designer. He illustrated all the books. From 1958 to 1962, Rand began consulting with big companies, Westinghouse, Cummings, UPS, and ABC, creating trademarks for all their companies. His work is still used today. In 1972, Rand gets elected into the New York Art Directors Club of Hall of Fame. He also receives honorary degree at Philadelphia College of Art. In 1973, he receives Royal Designer for Industrial Award. In 1974, Rand gets connected with Steve Jobs, who has an idea for a company called Next. They got together so that Rand could create his logo, which became a huge success. Later, in 1975, Rand creates IBM, the poster. Through the latter half of Paul's career, he did much teaching, but at the very end of it, he became a professor at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, which he taught for the remainder of his life. On November 26, 1996, Rand passes away from cancer. <laughs>